Hello and welcome to SnowRunner Gameplay PS4 and today we up in Russia we're doing the oil rig restoration contract which is an oversized trailer load now wow that was a little bit of weight going on the back of there look at that jump down yeah I suppose that's because I've got a lift kit as well anyway so let's get that loaded up now this is a Tega oil and there it is there oil rig restoration so we've got to do the seismic which basically I've already got a seismic which was over in location from when I did the seismic that lot to open up Zinigorsk Zimnigorsk garage so all we got to do is get that over there and jobs are good at now I changed the different tires on the uh, Tega I thought I'm always using those let's just use the other ones what aren't so wide but uh, they seem to be working pretty well now I've seen a few guys using these um, well doing the deliveries with these oversize and uh, yeah you've got to be careful so let's see how it goes I thought well let's give it a go in Russia because we've been in Michigan for what well, this is episode number 13 so 12 in Michigan so far and then I thought let's just hot foot to Russia and go to the quarry so we've got to get over to the quarry and did you notice on the last video I'm still missing the odd frames here and there where it jumps like the last video I introduced the video and all it came up with was hello and welcome I'm UK Gamer and I was like well what about everything else I said right then yeah so I think it's not my PS4 because it doesn't do it on any other games it just does it on this game where it seems to be if I move the camera around a bit too fast it misses two or three seconds of the video which is um, it's annoying because sometimes you're like what what happened there I missed that but I'll say something and uh, it doesn't show up so I don't know what it is right anyway let's uh, get this done because we've got it go carry on down this road it's the second on the right and then we can go on down to the the old drilling site I think round right here let's go up on this side a little bit we won't go straight through the mud yeah and that's not too bad at all no I haven't skated the area either which should do really you should just get in a skate and go and have a look right so that's the first right it's down to the second right go down past oh did we no we didn't lose the tire but yeah we haven't got a ring around the tire anymore so oh, I get so many punches lately it's uh, it's bloody annoying now I think it is up that way then let's just check yeah that'll take us down to there and then we're coming along straight down there nice and easy and this road shouldn't be too bad I hope let's have a bit of low range going up there oh and that's opening up okay yeah we'll be alright as long as we don't come into some steep terrain I don't think there is that much well then again it goes up a little bit higher there doesn't it now is that a shortcut yes is it is shall we go for it let's just go for it I know we probably shouldn't but we got low range let's just get up there yeah look at that that's that's easy enough no problem with that Well, there we go and then uh, there is an oversized um, rig to move after this one I think so I thought well get this one out of the way and start doing a few others on Russia haven't been to done much in Alaska at the moment now it is round to the right now isn't it yeah round to the right 
because it has to go in nowhere. We are running to go to Alaska and have some decent vehicles. So we've got plenty of decent vehicles now because I've just bought another Tiger, another one. I think I've got a fleet of seven at the moment. It's uh, quite crazy, but I do prefer leaving vehicles on in certain locations on certain maps rather than taking them all back to the garage. Whoa, there's a little bit of wobble on that. And it seems to pay off. Oh, every now and again it does anyway. Not that it takes long to travel through the maps anyway. It's, uh, it's really deceiving. You look at some places and think, oh, that take me out. ages. And then it's like five, ten minutes, you know. I love the backdrop on that. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to go off the edge if uh, not paying any paying attention here. Come on. We've got an oversized cargo. And we're still in low. But then again, it's probably going to save me getting punctures. Because I think that's the, half the trouble with this Tiger is just a little bit too quick. This one, I've only got the mid-range engine in it. I thought I was save a little bit on the fuel. I think a bit of lean. It is cool the way these lean, but sometimes I've seen that that container just pop straight out the back, especially if you haven't got a sideboard trailer on. And cool, we're out of the mud. So I should just set the route, really, shouldn't we? Where are we going? We're going north. So what we're doing is going down there, turning that one, and then straight down we can cut through. Just that. Easy as that. And hopefully we won't have any missing frames on this one. I have tweaked the settings on my PlayStation, but I don't think it's that. I'm sure it's the game. I really am. Come on, man. get it right there. That's it. Beautiful. Whoa, get up there. Come on. These tyres are pretty cool. Right, let's get it into auto and see what happens. Yep, and we are accelerating. As long as I don't hit a rut. I think it is better in that low range height. Low range of plus. It seems to uh, perform really well now after the update. One of the things what helped rather than hindered. Well, it's not that bad. I know some people's games are, but there's more people moaning than happy. And I was meant to take the shortcut straight over there, wasn't I? Yes, I was. So can we just drive down the bank? I was thinking, hang on, aren't we meant to be going in there? And you are, yes, now it was this. Gonna be okay. Don't tell me that is a tree stump just there. Because the way that just jumped up was like it was a stump. It is, isn't it? Oh well. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Whew. We are off. I thought we were going to come. Oh, nearly clip that one though. Whoa. Oh, tip, yeah. Spoke too bloody soon, didn't I? I cannot believe that. I haven't got a crane up here either. So, ah, oh, unbelievable. So, I'm going to have to go back and get a crane. 
Right, well, while we're here, we may as well do the seismic. So let's stop that engine, change truck. I can't believe that. All I had to do was drive down that bit oh, just there, and I could have just came in. No problems. Whoa, camera messing up there. Right, let's get this engine fired up. And we're in location. It's exactly right at the side. Just there, stage complete. And now we can deliver the oversize, which would have been perfect, because what we'd have to do is just drive that in, and job's good. And can we winch it? Can we winch it? Change truck. I just had that thought in my head and thought, I bet we can't lock on to the container. No. Let's get a bit closer. So it's only going to be. I was thinking that'd be nice just to be able to drag it. But no, you're not having none of that, are you? Ah. Right, well, back to Zinigors. Now, I haven't used the trailer before, so... Um, now, how are we going to do this, then? Because I'd better leave this truck here. I'm going to have to bring another one. Another truck. Right, back in a minute. Right then, so we have a crane. That uh, didn't take that long to get up here, but we need to write the, tr I suppose you could use the crane, but I mean, let's just uh, put the winch on. Um, we shouldn't have any issues, hopefully. Look at that, lovely. Stop that, change truck. And there we go. Let's get the crane, activate anchor. And I did think it might be being a bit close for that. And as soon as I sat there, it just sank straight in. Which is going to do anyway. Right, let's get it to the anchors. Right, there we go. That will do. Crane mode. Yeah, and typical, isn't it? As soon as you... Uh, so it attached to the crane. Right, I can't remember the, the controls. R1. I've got to do some more crane work, I really have. I didn't want that one. And I didn't want that. We want crane mode. Detach that one. It's this camera. Don't like it. That's a little bit better. Turn that right that way. No, and then we want up. No, not up. Bloody hell. I, I thought I was alright with this crane before. Am I too close? No, we've just got to go up, haven't we? Why will it not pick up? 
It's got the point on there. Am I too close? Right then, so that was a, a little glitch there, where it, it didn't like it. That's ah, because it's upside down. Where it just wouldn't recognise it. I don't know why it's doing that jumping around. So now, of course, I can't lift this up and then move over, can I? So we'll have to move swing that around Right, finally get there in the end. That's a crazy bit of messing around. Now is it gonna lift it? I hope it does. Yeah, of course it does. And we should be able to just spin that on. Jobs are good and a little thing what should have taken, well, should have should taken half the time all this messing around. But it just goes to show you I shouldn't have taken this shortcut. It did hit that stump though, that's what did it. Right, come on then. Whoa. Let's get this camera set up right. And we want to bring it down. And is he too far away? Yes, I think it is. It's on. Lovely. So we just got to deliver the oversize. Which I'd take it we're just over there where the square is. And another contract complete. So that's the Tega oil, oil rig restoration contract for Snow Runner. Another one ticked off. There's still oh, what, 51 missions to go yet. There's loads. Crazy, mate. Right. Cargo management. Jobs. A good end. We actually get to see a little bit of the animation that time. Cool. But 580. And then it's gone on to farming tools then. Which it always does goes back to the last one you were on for some reason right oh well it's dark now and we've got lights they were working earlier I could see them they were actually on but there's a good old beam on there right that's it for today's snow runner Tega oil oil rig restoration contract on the PS4 walkthrough Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and if you did, come and watch the next one. And why not check out one of my other SnowRunner videos that I've got plenty going on with. If you want any vehicle locations or upgrade location, and a few other tutorials. I'm going to be adding tutorials over the next few weeks. So if that interests you, why don't you go and have a look. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.